Indie Mogul. Hello Indie Mogulers and welcome to another audition episode of BFX. So far we've seen the Necronomicon from Patrick, a radial dolly from Dave, and Spidey's web shooters from Ryan. And to continue our streak of awesome audition episodes, this week Garrett from Hidden Evil Productions is going to show us how to create a blood cannon. Garrett here from Hidden Evil Productions. Today, we're going to show you how to make a high end blood cannon for cheap. Blood cannon? Blood cannon? Yeah? Blood cannon? Yeah? Huh? Yes, the blood cannon. Blood cannon? Thank you, Lush. No, 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 no. I'm going inside. So essentially, the blood cannon imitates gory and explosive gunshot wounds. To achieve this effect, traditionally, the TV and film industry uses what's called a squib. Not a squid. A squib. A squib is really nothing more than just a tiny explosive attached to a blood packet hidden somewhere on the actor. <laughs> the problem is that a squib can only be used once and can become quite costly as well as potentially dangerous. When used as intended, not only is our blood cannon safe, but infinitely reusable. Now you're probably asking yourself, how much is this going to cost me? Am I going to have to take out a loan? Rob a bank? Fake your own death and collect on the life insurance? Well, the price manager says it's 25 bucks. <laughs> price is just... One shutoff valve with pneumatic attachment, about two feet of one and a half inch diameter PVC pipe, miscellaneous plumbing parts, and an air compressor. Before beginning the build, it's important to understand the concept behind the design. Essentially, what you're building is something that holds your blood and uses high pressured air to throw it, simulating a gunshot wound. Your pneumatic attachment will be what attaches to your air compressor. Your shutoff valve will be what holds and releases your compressed air. And your PVC pipe will act as your housing, which holds your liquid blood or other substance. The miscellaneous plumbing parts are really only there to help you attach your tiny air valve opening to your 1.5 inch diameter PVC pipe. Simple time now! Woo! Now for your build. You'll first want to start by taking your shutoff valve with pneumatic attachment and start putting on your mess of plumbing parts in order to fit on your PVC pipe. To be honest, the man at the hardware store helped us find these six plumbing parts used, saying that it was our only option. But really, later on we found a plumbing store that carried one part that did the same job, and it only cost $1.50 versus the $15 we already paid. So, some food for thought there. Once your plumbing parts are all in place, just attach your PVC pipe and your cannon is good to go. Now once you have the cannon all assembled, all you need is an air compressor. Now don't go buying one of these, I'm sure one of the many men that you know has one that you can borrow. So then just take your hose and attach it to the pneumatic attachment in the back, pour your blood, Point and pull the release. Simple as that. Are you sick of those weak bullets shooting out of your finger guns? Then plug into the Gunomatic Detonator 3 Billion! Whoa! With the God 3 Billion, you can make all those explosive and epic death scenes you've always dreamed of. Really? Destroy a hobo! I never liked you! Who are you? Destroy a zombie! Die, zombie! <sighs> or even destroy an Italian chef! Requiescat in pace! 
It's a spicy meat. <laughs> With the god 3 billion, you can destroy just about anything. So what are you waiting for? Or no, you could be next. Hey guys, thanks for watching our edition video. If you like our work, please subscribe. You can find us at the link below. There, you can find some additional fun we had with the Blood Cannon. <laughs> Along with our crazy, explosion-filled videos of epic destruction. It's time for a montage. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Can somebody please hand me a towel? Oh, no, come on! Oh, it's so cold! If you ever want to make some quick and tasty blood, try mixing one part of chocolate syrup with two parts strawberry syrup.